What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and that's probably because you haven't hit the bell. Thank you again for all your support. We're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So we're just taking a look at Polygon here and it does look as though it has rolled over, looking for the basically the bottom of that range again to find a bit of support, isn't it? So it's basically, it looks as though it has been rejected off of the 55 moving average here and it is having a bit of a rolling over phase, as you can see. If we're actually drawing a few of our uh, ranges here, you'll see what we mean. We basically got our first overall range looking something like this from around $2 all the way down to around, you know, that 75 cent swing low, which we did have to fake out to the downside of. And then we actually, we've actually got a few other ranges. We've got another range looking something like this. At the bottom of our wider range, basically with a, you know, this is a decent support and resistance line here, as you can see quite clearly. And, you know, we've also got a range potentially looking something like this, haven't we? So you can see a bit more now we've chunked this up. You can get an idea of kind of what's going on. We obviously had our big downtrend, we got a high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, big downtrend. We have the fake out to the downside of the range and of this uh, falling wedge. Everyone shorts the bottom. Then they get wrecked by the short squeeze on Bitcoin. We come back up inside our range and our falling wedge. We break through the resistance, which is really important, obviously, for continuation. We reclaim the 20. We consolidate underneath the 55 really bullishly. And this whole time, by the way, we're making a nice little area of structure here, looking something like this. So you can see we, we've basically come down, but then we come back up into this area of structure where we consolidate again, which is creating a very, very nice level of support, basically, if we were to roll over in the future. And as you can see, we come up, we make our next little range, make our high, we come back down, we find our low, basically on the 20 moving average. We have the fake out to the upside of, the, of this little range. We come back down inside the range. We find support at a similar level at the 55 this time. We have another fake out to the upside of the range where we get to around 180 here. And then obviously we have Bitcoin basically having a large correction in the market. We come all the way down and uh, basically Polygon finds itself a nice little bit of support somewhere in and around this large area of structure here where it did wick all the way back up inside of our range really bullishly. And you can see it actually came down to this previous swing high area at around what is this 122 where it found a decent level of support there. And you can see for basically the past week, we've actually been holding that level as support. We are rolling over again today, but we're looking for that as support again. You can see every single time that we've come down to this area here, we have had our actual decent bounce. You can see it here. Pretty much every single time that we've come down to this uh, to this little area, we've, we've got a decent bounce and it looks as though we are looking to find support there again. But this is why we were saying months and months ago, why well, it feels like months anyway, that this area of structure that we built here is really important because it means that if we do roll over, and we're looking for support that we actually do have some support rather than just you know basically going straight up and having no support and then just rolling over straight down and doing something like this we've actually you know come up fairly steadily made a nice bit of structure here we've come up and we've made a nice decent bit of structure here with our chart which means that there's a lot more support if you know things do start to roll over and you can see we've wicked down here got the bounce all the way up to the 55 wick down here got the bounce all the way to the 55 we've lost the 55 for now but it looks as though we are, you know, looking for, to find support at the bottom of the range again. So you would say realistically, you know, Polygon is showing a lot of strength because it's actually adhering nicely to its to its uh, structure of its price action. And that's really bullish in our opinion. You know, we're just waiting for that bounce really, aren't we? You can see we're getting down towards potentially oversold territory again. We're pretty much, you know, below, below um, fair value on our RSI. And you can see, you know, we've got some potential bullish divergences here if things do start to play out. So basically what we're saying is things are still looking good. And a lot of people are panicking because Polygon's been going down. It went down from around 180 all the way down to around 125 currently. But honestly, when you look at the wider perspective of things, it's really hard to be bearish on Polygon. It looks as though it's holding support like an absolute beast and it's ready for that next leg up in reality. So, you know, sooner or later, once Bitcoin does start to get back on its bike, because it definitely will, it's going to drag the whole market with it, just like it dragged the market down here, isn't it? So. Short term price predictions then to wrap up. Obviously, if we lose this level here that we have been bouncing at, at around that 120, 121, 120 ish level, we've obviously got that 118 wick there. And we've also got this one, 
110 level of support, which we would expect to be very strong, considering, you know, we've got a really nice amount of structure here, which we did find the support on. You'd expect if we came down into this area here, looking something like this, that you would definitely find some support in this area here for that continuation. And we basically would have, you know, fully reversed our trend then, basically making our higher high and then our higher low and then our higher high doing something like that. So, and then if we do get the bounce, we've got targets here of reclaiming the 55 at around 133. We've got the 120 here coming in at around 140. And then obviously we've got targets of the top of this little range at 152 and that 180 high there as well. Looking like a, uh, a decent price target for the short term. And then throwing our Fib retracement tool on again. Just like always, we can get an idea of what we're looking for. And once we hit that all time high at around $2.70, we're obviously looking for the 127 at around $4. We've got the 141 at around $4.90. Got the 161 at around $6.70. And a massive 227 extension at around $17. But we do think $5 to $10 a very realistic price target considering these extensions. So that's it, guys. We'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos that we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.